All right, welcome back, everybody. You may or you may not have heard of Andrel and uh, what's called Andrel's uh, Lattice application. It's basically the software backbone, I think the way that I could describe it, that uh, ties together uh, drones, towers, sensors, uh, all sorts of other systems into one live, I guess you'd say, mission-ready picture. Uh, it's kind of the brains behind a lot of modern sensor fusion um, counter UAS operations. Uh, I, I would say Lattice is mm, battlefield management or potentially a command and control platform built to take in data from all kinds of sensors, uh, radar, um, IR cameras, RF sensors, drones, even vehicles, uh, and fuse it into one unified interface. Uh, it's built to help operators see, decide, and act faster by combining artificial intelligence, autonomy, and really, I guess, data fusion across multiple domains. Um, so I wanted to do this video because I'm about to show what War Dragon Pro can do with Lattice. It, you know, the War Dragon Pro isn't an an Android system. It's essentially a platform I put together that has my Dragon OS on it. Uh, but I've made it possible and even had some help uh, making it talk to Lattice directly. So using the Lattice Python SDK, which I have in the War Dragon Pro now, I've extended the Dragon Sync application, which many of you are probably familiar with so that it can output detection and location data in the exact format that Lattice expects. Um, you know, I've kind of had the Lattice and Android page up here, but if I jump over to Dragon Sync, this is um, what is included in the War Dragon Pro. A lot of what handles the the, the different services and uh, sensor, you know, uh, controlling and, and detection. Um, so really kind of what does that what does that mean I would say that uh, when the War Dragon Pro detects a drone say through remote ID or maybe here soon FPV signal monitoring or other you know RF uh, sources that detection is going to be packed up by uh, Dragon Sync here particularly the Lattice Sync if you really wanted to dig in and look at how this is uh, built and working and that information is going to be sent and it can even be sent right alongside uh, MQTT that I've added to Dragon Sync. It can be sent alongside uh, cursory on target messages uh, for communications in and through uh, the TAC family. It can, it can all be done at the same time. Um, but anyways, uh, you'll see that information inside the Lattice Sandbox, which I'm going to get here, uh, get to here in a second. And I'd say this is important because it shows that the open architecture platforms like the War Dragon Pro can push data into enterprise grade C2, C2 systems even without being like officially supported hardware. So I'd say it bridges the gap between open, uh, flexible, software defined radio based sensing and the structured uh, world of, I guess, more a, a defense orientated uh, network. So in this video, um, if you hung with me this far, I'm going to walk through how to set up the Lattice Sandbox. The Python SDK is already taken care of in the War Dragon. We'll configure uh, Dragon Sync to do some simulation based detections and that's going to feed the uh, detections right into Lattice. And then my hope is in the next video, I'll move out to a real world scenario, get the War Dragon positioned and do detections on real drones and, and have that information going into lattice so all right if again if you have the latest uh, image installed on your war dragon pro this is available there um, worst case you can go into your home dragon war dragon uh, directory you'll find where the dragon sync directory is and you can do uh, you know a git a git pool in most cases and have the most up-to-date code i am uh, recording this uh, via a remote desktop to a War Dragon Pro I just finished uh, building. So it's going to take a little bit, but we'll work through this here. Uh, the sandbox I have 
uh, my account I'm gonna blur some things out but as I've been talking the environment I had built a new environment is actually building I expect a couple more minutes to go by and my environment will be up and we will be able to interact with it but in the meantime we can jump over just to get a familiarity here with uh, the terminal again I'm in the War Dragon Pro and I'm in the Dragon Sync directory I, I can see around let's take a look at our config.ini file I'm probably going to make some changes uh, to how the War Dragon ships there's really uh, it's probably going to be blanked out here again this is for if you wanted to set up against the tax server well let, let's just focus on lattice here so at the bottom we've got a lattice enabled it's false we're going to change that to true and we'll see if our environment is done should hopefully be done here in a second it is done so we'll click that I'm going to go into this particular environment and I'm going to get some key information here for one I need a lattice token and I need a sandbox token so if we go in our user settings account and security should be able to create a new token we'll copy we'll copy that token information over to our it's actually a little bit backwards we'll copy it to our sandbox token and we need the base URL or an endpoint so let's go back to our sandbox we can see the URL for the sandbox uh, the endpoint okay let's see we got HTTPS yep that should be good we need a lattice token so the lattice environment environment uh, token is here I'll copy paste and I think I think that should be it I'm gonna save that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the current running so pseudo systems DTL stop dragon sync and what I want to do is I want to just run dragon sync in debug mode for a second okay lattice base resolved we can see our SDK version I, I want to get a um, actually one other thing one other thing so we're going to change to a uh, just a fake static GPS location here and we'll give it a second we're looking for the war dragon to send a kind of a health status and I just want to make sure that that's going into lattice by default it occurs about every 30 seconds Let's see so we've got a um, response we published the status we got a good connection so we should be good we just sent that information into this enterprise grade command and control system I'm now going to log into lattice so we're gonna have to use the, the password and the uh, login user here And I really shouldn't be using uh, Firefox. Uh, I don't think I have. Hmm, no. Nah. Be Firefox for now. So login user was user at internal.local. Password will copy. Paste.
minimize this, we'll focus on lattice again now. There is going to be some other simulated uh, information on lattice. And again, unfortunately, it's probably not going to work as well uh, as if I had Chrome like it recommended, but I'll get that in the, uh, the next video. So what I'm looking for is the War Dragon Pro on the map, which it is right there. So I can see it's reporting information in. Currently, there's not a lot of uh, health status information uh, brought out just due to the lattice sandbox environment, but that um, will hopefully grow. And so that information will be shown. But we can see, hey, there's the War Dragon. It's communicating in. What I'm going to do next is we're going to get this simulation going for uh, aircraft data, which was so kindly uh, provided to me um, by someone that uh, added some additional code to Dragon Sync. So if I go into War Dragon, Dragon Sync tests, there's a whole uh, another readme here on how to run this. And it's pretty, it's pretty cool because it shuts down uh, the necessary services, the ZMQ decoder. And we can see how we need to run this. And so what it's going to do is you, you can populate, you can generate a scenario with aircraft. Um, this, I think, is going to be up in, like, Boston somewhere. I, I can't remember specifically. Um, but you can generate scenarios, uh, or you can run the example one that is provided in the repository. And so I think there's going to be, like, at least two or three drones that this is going to populate with movement and, and the whole everything. It's pretty realistic. And and we should see that uh, processing here in Dragon Sync. So let me run this. It should shut down the services, and we're going to start seeing some activity in here. And that information is going to be uh, well. It's going to be sent live to our uh, lattice. Let's see where we at here. So. Or dragon detection. So let me go. Let me go over to this area. So now we are uh, essentially tracking these drone detections in real time. Uh, the information. So this is like the pilot of the Skydio drone that we're tracking. We've got the uh, drone and it's related information there, serial number, altitude, speed, heading. If I zoom in a little closer, you'll probably see the um, home location and, uh, of course, the pilot right there, home, pilot. So essentially, everything that War Dragon is able to produce is getting pushed into and shown within Andrew's Lattice. This is really extremely exciting to me. I, I want to move out and do this in a real like uh, basically environment where I've got two or three four of my drones so yeah uh, again this video was just to show that initial setup and how easy it is with the War Dragon Pro with a few credentials put in the right place uh, your lattice sandbox set up and next thing you know you're communicating from multiple sensors uh, if you had multiple into the lattice sandbox and getting familiar with that so stay tuned for uh, another video where i will do this out in the real world